So, hello guys and welcome to Evers Fly Workshop. What up, what's up guys? Um, today we are going to tie a fly that's called the Black Nut. It's a classic wet fly pattern and it was requested by a man named Guðmundur Jónsson. He asked for it and here is your piece, Guðmundur. Uh, we are using an RX wet fly barbless for this fly number in the size of 12 and uh, this is like a very very much like a classic pattern that everybody is kind of familiar with and for the tail of the fly we are using a black rooster uh, fibers uh, not too long not too short we attach them down to the hook shank like that and we will just tie them down to the bend of the hook so they face a little bit like this, a little bit downwards, I like that. Um, if you don't do that, they may, like, the thread will get them to sprinkle all over the place. Uh, the thread we are using, that's a uh, nano silk for sample fly, an excellent uh, thread. Actually, the nano silks, I, I like them very much because um, it's like they are so strong compared to other, other, uh, other threads on the market. And this is like like an excellent thread for for a beginner. Uh, for the body of the fly, I'm gonna just use Icelandic black wool called the Lopi. It's really much used for like for those uh, famous uh, handmade wool uh, sweaters, uh, wool like knitted sweaters. My mother is making a uh, lots of them and selling, so I can kind of get like really good. Uh, really good um, access to material, fly, <laughs> fly tying material by my mother. She gives me those colors like black, olive and stuff, brown and stuff, so I can, you know, use the lope or the wool band for for that. You, one thing you need to keep in mind if you're working with the wool, uh, it can break, so you need to twist it like this between your fingers. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like the video, you can consider to yeah support the channel if you like. It's not much at all, but yeah, think about it. Um, we'll snip this end off here because um, we need to leave room for the legs of the fly and for the wing. We are actually not doing a fancy wing on this one, but the legs we are using. I'm using uh, a black hen. So to prepare the hen for the for the for the hackle or the or the legs or the collar create like this tiny little brush on it and uh, then we snip off this part or this piece here so you can tie in the feather like in its position and like a typical classic way uh, like this with the shiny f uh, shiny side of the feather facing forward and then we'll take like a couple of wraps or so we use hackle pliers for this because uh, this feather is uh, short, rather short than than long. So um, yeah, this is what happens if you're using like uh, too heavy hackle pliers. This can happen, and uh, then we try the uh, then we'll try this one. This one actually has a spring in it, so it may break the stem of the feather. That is what I found out. So uh, it's like a, uh, maybe for big feathers, but not necessarily the smallest one, like weak, weaker feathers with weaker stem. But this one twist uh, with the hand has to do the job with the uh, creating the uh, legs of the fly or the huggle. Um, now we have to pinch the hackle in between our fingers simply to get all of them. There are like tools for this, but I prefer to use uh, what God gave me, my beautiful fingers. And you can tie them in and like uh, squeeze them a little bit back with your thread so they face a little bit that way, like back to the to the hook. And for the wing of the fly, we are using a duck like a duck wing feather, actually a slim thin feather for this one, 
but you can actually use like a pair of feathers uh, to get like a paired wing if you like but uh, we'll save that method for like a fancier fly than the uh, than this one it's just a simple black net that works perfectly in almost almost all conditions um, then we'll just do this pinch the pinch the feather together like this uh, measure it so the tip of the wing is uh, about merging the tip of the tail of the fly and then we'll be snipping off the the tag end and then we'll just place it on the top of the top of the head and create the head of the fly so it looks like quite simple black nut but I'll promise you guys this, this fly will work and this fly will give you fish definitely and now we need to create like a hat on the fly some people like it to be like with short wings and, and stuff but tight in this way with this long wing this has been working just perfectly for me so we'll keep it like that uh, as you most of you guys are familiar with that uh, you can of course tie the uh, tie the black net as a dry fly and uh, we'll do that in another video definitely but I've got like remarkably good cats on this fly during like early and midsummer here in Iceland uh, for the hat of the fly we'll just coat that with our UV glue which is uh, Solcure an excellent glue for this uh, process I like it a lot and uh, one thing as well which I'm not actually doing here now we are just sapping the fly if you want the want the fly to look like a little bit buggier you can run uh, through the body or through the wool with a dubbing brush to get it like get the first a little bit more out to stand out but it it works either way i just want to say yeah guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.